Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. So I have been doing a little bit of work on the, this thing here, doing a little bit of testing. Now this is actually my original idea. I was trying to use uh, the long, long slopes as like rails. Oh, I missed again. Uh, the only reason why I didn't do that is just part counts, that's why I was trying to use the ramps, but the ramps didn't work out too well. Uh, someone else also suggested something I didn't even think about was using a drop down system where instead of trying to roll around the corner like I'm doing here, to drop it down and it should help carry the momentum. Now this one does work, let me get into third person here and show you, and then uh, show you something over there too, I was trying to mess around with uh, having a hover pad at the bottom of the ramp to see if it would launch, you know, go up. But it doesn't really go too far. And the reason being is I want to try to get another coaster set up. You probably already see it from the thumbnail like you always do. So you watch this go down. It drops and it lines up pretty good. I did have to put those walls in just in case because as you can see it was sort of hitting there. But that should be okay. Uh, I figure if as long as I go this far out I don't have to worry about actually falling off the track uh, I am going to do this a little bit bigger it's probably going to have a couple of different other elevators uh, but one of the things I've done is I have actually done a little bit of work on this and I put a little push, uh, pusher pad in the back here so all I do is I just turn the switch on that turns on pushes the ball out so that way it doesn't get stuck and the reason why I have this on is this is supplies everything we're going to need uh, I don't know how big it's going to be, actually I do know how big it's going to be because I need to work within the, the animation distance of everything. Um, oh yeah, I was going to grab that ball, I'm going to move that out of the way because I can't quite get to it here and because I dug a hole I probably won't get it out now, but I will try. Uh, I was actually going to show the unloading mechanism. Listen, stay, stay. Damn you. Uh, I can't wait till we can actually fill these holes. Well, that's not gonna work. There it is, there it is. Let's go up this side. Sometimes I'm, that's actually the one time I'm glad these things don't roll like real balls. Okay. So we'll go ahead and pick this up. Uh, I've been noticing some weird things too with the flyers. The way they they rotate when you turn. I don't know if that's just my bad flying or what and that just happened. So let me reload. Okay. And I realized that all I had to do is uh, just lift it up off the ground. It would run itself because it's bottom heavy. Uh, my ball's still up here, so we got to go up here and grab it. Push it back down. And see if we can get another successful roll down the ramp. So one thing I don't like is how it sort of leans to one side. If I could have used the slopes to try to make like a channel to keep them in there. Uh, the problem with that though is I can't actually go on an angle with them. So that's why I gotta do it this way. Come on, get out of here. I'm not gonna bother taking this, I got God knows how many frames and plates and put on me and I got the printers up and running so I can keep things oh come on you serious there we go you know for metal plating it's it's like velcro come on you're stuck aren't you get up there This is being difficult. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are just going nuts right now. Okay, it's out of the hole. So, I'm going to turn this thing back on. Get back in here. And... Man, I was... Things are going to change for me drastically when they actually add block damage to the game. And the reason being is the new site we're going to, which is... That C marker, 800 meters that way. I went over there and cleared out a whole bunch of trees. Well, I didn't cut down the trees with the multi tool. I just rammed into them with the with the little red flyer there. And yeah, it's a fighter. 
this thing here too, I was tr tr attempting a spiral elevator with the hover pads for the balls. It could be done, but it's, it's a lot of work. This idea is just easier. As long as you don't, I don't have too much going in at once, I shouldn't have a problem. Alright, so I'm going to go in here. I'll just drop this thing on the platform. Without breaking anything. Oh, the, the bounce on this is just too much sometimes. Okay, let's see if I can get myself lined up. The ugliest flyer anyone has ever built. And it's meant to handle my balls. So all I do is just turn that on. Pushes it out. And I should have had that hover pad on. But anyways, yeah, that was just to show you the unloading mechanism on this. So let us head off to this direction. Oh, I gotta turn these things off. Let me just grab that and then we'll head off to the new site. Oh, they are off. Okay. They were on when I first loaded the save. I'm seeing weird colors. Flying in third person is not easy. Especially when you're trying to get up into something like that. Okay, let's go. This thing is not the fastest thing in the world, but it'll get us there. The reason why I went over here is if I plan on using 10, 15, 20,000 parts, and I'm probably not joking on that one. Uh, I want to be at a lag central, and it is getting really bad. Coming back now, I'm getting about 4 seconds. We'll actually feel it when we leave here. Well, that's actually faster than I thought. I actually only have two hover pads, two air blades going at the moment. Just to make it a little more smoother. So I'm not dropping my balls all over the place. Alright, we're outside of render range. Let's go back and experience the lag. Yeah, you can tell I've been here. There's quite a few trees missing. There it is. And I think I have a big build I want to do there soon. I was actually planning on doing it this episode, but I haven't quite figured out how I want to do it. And then I'm going to want to try to BCFI it a little bit. It's going to be something overkill and completely unnecessary. Well, that was weird. Interesting. You saw that, right? Aha. See all those trees that are standing there? I've knocked those trees down. The stumps are still there, but I flew into those trees and come out to here and they disappear. Yeah, I, was, I was actually trying to figure out why. Well, why is it so empty? I cleared all this space out. Does that mean the trees will grow back? Will I have to get rid of the stumps? I hope not. It's a lot of work. But this is the area. Um, the center is going to be right here. Now what's going on is the game is not animating any objects outside 100 meters of the player. I think anything with a beacon might be different because I know I have actually fired... Uh, the tank projectiles at 300, 300 kilometers an hour. I had one go 6-7 kilometers unless it's something that's changed recently. Uh, oh wow, those, these are nice frame rates. We'll have to go out on the road more often. Uh, and then, as I was saying, uh, the reason why I have a beacon here is because I have... This is basically, basically going to be the the center of the build and I can't build anything more than I'm gonna say 90 meters from this spot and that way so we once I get it up, up and running that it'll be able to go around and do its thing and as long as it's within uh, I won't call it physics range I'll just say animation range of me and that way we can sit here and watch it go around we can do it in third person that's not a problem too because uh, we have an insane zoom on this third person too, so that's that's pretty good. 
But yeah, I just don't want if if I start build this thing and let's say we're over the one end here and we're watching the ball go around once it gets to the other end there, it's just gonna stop and it's try on in its track, literally. And not do anything. So that's why I got this beacon here and go from there. So let me get this rain out of the way and start some building.
And there it is. Uh, I apologize for this being a couple of days late. I've been having some technical difficulties with the game, as you can see. And the, let's just put it this way. Uh, me and the game had a bit of a disagreement, and we decided to meet in the middle. And this is what the results are. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's got something to do with the hover pads. But uh, we got crane balls having a look at it to figure out what's going on. But... I do have this pretty much ready to go. All I have to do is just get a couple of power generators set up. I think a, two of them should be enough. I'm hoping. Uh, I was trying to get a little more going on as you saw, but it was dipping down too far, and this would have to been too f go down even further. I don't know if I have enough hover pads for this, but what I sh all I really need to do is just connect one side to the other. I do have all the hover pads actually connected and configured. So all I got to do is just connect these two together, and then we'll drop some generators somewhere here. Uh, let's just put them off the side here. Oop, that's not it. Uh, yeah, so we'll do this. And I made a little loading station. It was down over at that end. Yeah. Where, we, where I can make, make the balls. I was gonna have like little stations that were controlled with hover pads, but that wasn't really gonna be an option considering how much trouble I'm having <laughs> with this build. I've had ghosting too, which kinda concerned me, but we seem to be up and running. So now let's see if we can get the, some of these. I gotta go get some more parts. As always, I'll take the hover mode off and try not to kill myself. Yeah, it's hard to think this thing was actually down about three hover pads into the ground. That's why I've got a big gaping hole over there. But hey, leave it to me to break the game. Anyway, let's see what do I need here. I need. Uh, that's not the right box. Uh, that's not the right box. And it's on the other side. I wasn't sure if I was going to actually have enough to do all this. Uh, what am I missing here? Uh, level 3 composite, or level 2 composites, yeah, it's reinforced plates, reinforced frames, okay, we are good to go. Uh, do I have mechanical parts on me? Yes. Because, no, oh, I need the fuel too, I guess. Oh, I have it. Okay. Because what I want to do is I want to have a couple of generators hooked up uh, with conveyors and then... And that way I could just put all the fuel in a box and not have to worry about fueling them each time. So we go up here. This would be actually sort of a good sort of central point to be watching the show, I guess you could say. Alright, we'll put one there. We'll put one there, and hopefully this will be enough. Do that. And get some conveyor action going. Let's grab... Where are they? Grab a T. Uh, we don't need those. An elbow and a straight piece. So I'll put the T here. Go like that. Put the elbow here. Actually, let's put another T here in case I have to hook up another generator. And the straights was nine. And I know I have been doing all my conveyors in orange, but I'm just going to leave them red because I'm too lazy to change the color right now. <laughs> and we do that. Now where's the switchboard? There's a switchboard. And hopefully this will be enough. Nope, I need a third generator. Oh, we're gonna find out how many upper pads I have now. So we'll grab an eight. That's not an eight. We'll do this. Come on. There we go. And that was an eight I want. Nope. Nine. Yes. I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm just so worried about actually dismantling anything off of this whole set. Are you serious? Still out of power? Oh, yeah. I gotta hook, <laughs> hook up the switchboard. That might help. Really? So, uh, it says seeing all three generators. Yes, it is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Even I'm impressed on that one. 
Okay, let's get a fourth generator going. Uh, no, 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 I need... It's a good thing I brought enough spare parts for this. At least I hope I have enough. And then we do the old nine. And then a seven. And that, 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 that. And that. I'm out of mechanical parts. Ha ha ha, of course. Okay, uh, let's... Let me get this set up and we'll be right back. Okay, there we go. So, each one is maxed out at 7200 watts. That is an obscene amount of power. I think that's the most power I've ever used. Alright, so, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till the daytime to... Do a bit of a test run, it's getting dark, and unfortunately at this point I cannot sleep. If I sleep, this thing is going to move again on me more than likely. It's going to be up in the air, it's going to ghost on me, and... Uh, yeah, I want to actually have some fun with this before it actually disappears. So, I'm going to have to wait it out by the looks of it. So, I'm going to get get a ball ready, and I'll bring it back when the sun comes up. And a new day has begun. So I've got everything set up, I actually got two balls set up there, I got one blue, one green, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh wow, I've actually missed, I've noticed I missed a couple of railings here. Not that it matters, I don't think we're going to be able to do much more to this after this. Let's get that out of the way, we'll go ahead and turn the power on. I did the math, uh, 7200 watts in one generator is 48 hover pads so I have a 192 hover pads here which you know is nothing out of the ordinary for me let's take that hover mode off so I can fly a little quicker so now we go drop down here and we'll get the blue one first and I'm hoping I'm hoping that the drop points are accurate. I might have to tweak them a little bit. I was actually going to get like a special stage in the area with hover pads where I could just use hover pads to push them in using switches, but yeah, the way this build's going, uh, it's. Come on, a little more, a little more. There we go. So now that should drop in and go shooting up. Let's follow it. As I figure right around here is where everything should continue to move. So let's see what happens. So it's going to go down, it should drop down to here and then down here and then roll down and go up the other elevator down a little half ass spiral staircase I did there. It doesn't roll as fast as it was like so that's good, it dropped down. That's why I put that extra rail on the outside there, because I knew it was going to sort of bounce out a little bit. Oh, this is looking pretty good. The only area I'm really worried about is over in this corner here. It's definitely doing a lot better than the ramps. I like it. Just want to make sure that it makes the full loop without falling off the track. And so far, it's doing good. And it also gives me a chance to find out if there's any hover pads I forgot to configure. And up to the top of the next elevator. Should be okay. And there she goes. Hooray. Yeah, this is why I love this game. The way the physics in this game work is just so good. But hopefully when we get the new Unity in the next month or so, things should work out so much better. So let's go down and actually get that second ball going. I'm going to wait till this one starts going down the other end. But as long as I'm within 100 meters of these balls, they will continue to move. And that's... I'm gonna try to do. That's actually why I had that beacon down there. You can see that C. But because the structure had moved on me, ah, 
Yeah. So I just gotta. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. V looks like you sometimes. <laughs> Oops, that's my flashlight, not hitting everything here. Okay. So all I need to do to fix that is just put a little retaining wall on this side here so the ball's got something to hit it bounce against. And that way it should just drop down. I was kind of worried that this was going to happen. And it was this corner I was worried about. So let's get the next one going. And then we'll give it another final loop. And then I got to get into the editing room and start getting this thing edited. So let's get. Come on. Let's get this big giant P down there. Not that kind of P. It's a green P, not a yellow P. Okay. Get out of that. And we'll watch this one go. Again, hover mode <laughs> slows you down. Alright. And I think it might be possible to actually get like five or six going without too much of a bottleneck. Just because of the fact that they're not binding up against the wall like they were doing on the, the prototype I was working on. And it wasn't necessarily the ramps, I think it had something to do with the fact that it was touching the walls and it was catching here at least in this one uh, the ball itself is only two blocks wide but it's in a track that's technically three blocks wide so it's only touching the middle grooves it doesn't touch touch the outer rails and so far so good I just gotta wait for the other side to get, get to the other side I was gonna try to load up that other ball but yeah, it's, one, it's been one of those builds. Come on, make it to the next one. You can do it. You can do it. And just drops perfectly. There was a lot of things I had to uh, think about when I was doing this, like, I knew that the top hover pad was going to launch the ball, so I had to put a little stop there to sort of get it stop and drop down to the track. But this is really good. I'm impressed, except for the fact that <laughs> it's about 20 stories higher than it should be right now. I'd imagine we're pretty close to the build height. I just want to make sure it goes into here, and then I can do a save. That was an actual auto save. That's why the ball stopped. I was like, oh my god, it's not 100 meters away, is it? Alright, come on. Yes, and it made it. And there we go. Uh, that's my uh, roller coaster simulator. Uh, if this thing is still up and uh, still working, I want to try to get half a dozen balls going around and do a little video clip of that. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and I'll see you next time. Later.